What's up Gunpla fans, this is Joey Ganoda coming at you with another video and today I'm going to talk about 2018 and plans for 2019. Um, first thing I'm going to do though is crack open a cold one. It's a diet root beer. Listen to that. Okay, um, so 2018 uh, was a rather productive year uh, for me and Gumpla. Um, so just like to give a quick recap. And what's really fun is um, I believe it was either 2015 or 2016. Um, must have been 2015. I had set a goal for myself to build um, 100 kits in a year and I was unsuccessful I think I was less than half that I think I got like 43 or 48 uh, completed uh, this year uh, without setting any goals um, I finished off um, over 50 I don't think I quite hit 60 um, not yet anyway still have a couple of days to do that um, so most of these kits um, in the beginning of the year I actually worked on while working at the office um, because I had uh, I had started working from home in March or May of this year I don't quite remember when but um, I'm just gonna start from the beginning and start listing them off uh, now the what I'm going off of are uh, so I take pictures of my work in progress for every build and I usually post things to Twitter uh, my old phone if you've watched my last video the Galaxy S6 uh, the motherboard went out I can't it won't work at all so I can't extract any of the memory um, and the Galaxy S6 for whatever reason they decided that they weren't going to do expandable memory on that model so all of my pictures are stuck there which is terrible and I'll have to do something about that. Um, I know there are services you can send off devices and they can retrieve things but anyway so I don't know if this is a complete list to be perfectly honest. <clears throat> um, so this is going to be all the kits that I completed finished in 2018. Now some of these were started before 2018 but they were finished this year so we have the high grade universal century revive hyakushiki uh, built that one at the office um, <clears throat> and I'm gonna have to I might have to look up the name of this one uh, it was a SD Gundam BB Senshi uh, one of the Night Gundams, and I don't remember which one, but it's this guy here, uh, the blue one. I don't remember if that's the Vassal Knight or if it's just the Night Gundam or what, but uh, I also finished him uh, while at the office. Um, after that, I completed a trio of uh, black TriStar colored petite guys. Um, I finished the 148th Mega Scale Unicorn Gundam. Um, I built a uh, another petite guy, the Panda Bear, and uh, 
I painted a cute little face on there. I could pull up pictures and edit them into this video, and I'm not going to. <coughs> but, anyway, I painted a cute little face on him, uh, and that is a gift for my girlfriend. Um, the SDEX, the really crappy SD line that didn't last very long. Um, the Astray Red Frame. Uh, interesting story about that one. Uh, in 2016, um, I had gotten really sick. And I, I know I've told this story before, but I'm going to tell it again. Uh, I got really sick. And I thought I had the flu. And uh, I was missing a couple of days of work, but I didn't want to just loaf around. So I started working on this kit, and um, I was progressively getting sicker. And it turned it out, turned out, turned it, it turned out, uh, I needed to be hospitalized. Uh, and I was hospitalized. Uh, but then for a long time, uh, I couldn't look at this kit because it just reminded me of being very, very ill. Uh, and I finally finished it. So that was nice to finally complete that little dude. Um, the high grade uh, build fighters uh, crossbone. Mao, Mao, Crossbone Mao, X Mao. No, because that's the. Anyway, Mao's Crossbone. <coughs> Completed that guy also. Uh, actually, I built him here because I was training for a competition that I'll mention later. Um, I also did the add on pack uh, for him, so we got those done together. Uh, the Amazing Red Warrior High Grade. Uh, that was a fun build. Built him at work. Um, ah, yes. The last kit that I built in the office was the SD Big Zam. Um, very fun. Very cute little kit. Um, just fun to play with. I mean, it doesn't have a ton of posability, but it's really cute and fun to de detail up and just have around. Uh, next up was the high grade IBO um, Barbatos Lupus uh, for the Lupus for Lupus contest that Shoki Reviews held. Um, and uh, what did it get me? An honorable mention, I think. Yeah, I think. Yes. Anyway, um, <coughs> Shoki really liked it, and really, I mean, I wanted to win, of course, um, but uh, I was happy just being mentioned um, in the contest. Um, after that, my first high grade after colony Leo. Um, spoiler alert: I built nine of them. Uh, and I've got three more to go. Um, I built two of them right away before moving on to the RE100 Dija, which is a really cool kit. Um, I love the detail of that kit. Uh, some of the posability is hindered, obviously, by the design, um, which appears to have been remedied with the new HGUC. Um, so I, I'll be interested to build that when I get to it. Um, later, or next, uh, I built an SD Musha Gundam. This guy, uh, I don't know if it's going to focus. That's okay. <coughs> now, um, I had him snapped. Uh, a while ago. I don't remember when. It might have actually been as far back as 2012. It might have been. Uh, but finally got him all painted up uh, and detailed. Uh, the oh god <coughs> Master Grade Full Armor Unicorn um, Verka. This kit I assembled uh, years ago. 
I want to say 2013 or 2014. And after assembling it, I was like, I'm done. I'm done with this thing for however long. I don't care. Uh, and finally, I, de I decided I was going to take a bunch of my old kits that I just needed to put on decals and panel line and stuff and just work on them for a weekend. And so I took this one out. Oh my gosh, the amount of dry transfers and stickers on this thing is ridiculous. The stickers were fine. I can manage stickers. But the dry transfers, because they had been like out of the package for so long... Um, and I don't know even know why I ripped open that package with the stickers and the dry transfers if I knew I wasn't going to get to them. But they had been out of the package for a long time, so they kind of dried out funny. Um, and the kit was on display unfinished for a while. So it kind of had like, I don't know, maybe fingerprints or something, dust. The, the dry transfers were not working properly, and they were the most frustrating thing. I should have just ordered water slide decals and gotten it done and over with. But no, I was stubborn. Um, never again. And yeah, so after that was done, I needed a break from decals for a while. And I did the uh, high grade Cathedral Gundam. Um, actually, let me think here. And then after that, or before that, no, it was after that, I did the Schwartz Ritter. Um, also a very cool kit. Then I finally decaled and top coated and painted um, some details and stuff. Three uh, Master Grade White Dingo Snipers, uh, Sniper Gems, Sniper 2. Got three of those done. And then, moving on to another contest, it was. Uh, Riley's um, Riley's Build Corner. It's a closed group on Facebook. Uh, great group of people in there. Riley runs a store off of Facebook where he sells kits. Um, I don't know how he manages to get them at good prices to resell them, but he does. And uh, he had a, a straight build contest. Straight out of the box. No panel lining. Nothing. You could use nippers. Uh, and something to remove nubs, um, but that was it. No painting, nothing. So I chose the, um, it was a P-Bandai, the prototype, oh gosh, it was the Origin MSD line, uh, the yellow prototype Gundam with the cannon. I don't remember the full name, uh, but uh, yeah, I built that guy. Um, I did win third place, um, got a, a gold-plated petite guy out of it, so that was pretty nice. Uh, and then I did the real grade Destiny. Um, I have not gone back to real grades for a while, because that one was quite a chore, especially with all the stickers, uh, which did not like to stay on. Then I finally got back around to finishing up some old kits. Um, the Sazabi Verka finally got all the decals put on that guy and gave it a top coat. Um, and I was I'm still thoroughly impressed with that kit. Uh, I also built half, <clears throat> just half, of the funnel effect parts, the P Bandai kit, because the other half goes to the Nightingale RE100, which I don't have. Um, but I did get the effect parts completed for Sazabi. Um, oh, and then this, then then there's the Schwartz Ritter. Um, so yeah, that's on here as well. Uh, next, I moved to a Kotobukiya kit. I haven't built very many of those, uh, but it was one of the Move Louvre kits. Uh, it, it was a yellow one. Uh, it came with a little alien thing, and the two swords were pre-painted all bloody and stuff. Um, it was pretty cool. I mean, I don't know. Move Louvre is not a series that I've seen, but the designs of the mechs are pretty cool. Uh, and then, uh, moved on to the high res 
Wing Zero Custom. Uh, I absolutely love that kit. I know people have complained about loose parts or whatever, but I did not have that problem. There were three parts that I had to tighten up with glue, but everything else is solid. Um, holds together very well, poses very well. It's just, it's a great kit. Um, I love that you can store the uh, twin beam rifles uh, separately um, on the side skirts. They flip open. Uh, or flip back and you can tuck them in there. I think that's really cool. It has a shield, it transforms. Amazing kit. Um, I know you don't build the inner frame, but you know the rest you do. Um, and it's just a really cool, really cool kit. Uh, the next was the um, SD Cross Silhouette RX-78 II Gundam uh, with the Cross Silhouette frame, which I one from Mr. Shogi um, <clears throat> and I believe that was for the point video contest uh, but yeah built that guy painted up the eyes and whatnot uh, very cool kit very cool line of SDs um, if you're an SD person um, or even if you're not definitely give that line a try um, they're pretty cool then the high grade Universal Century Banshee Norn Unicorn mode, nothing too special there. Um, moved on to Leo number three. And then high grade Universal Century Goof Revive. That was a very fun, quick little build. Uh, and at this point, I was pretty much just snapping together as many high grades as possible. I did the uh, Victory 2 uh, high grade kit, um, completed three more Leos um, and then I moved on to Master Grades I got the uh, Trans Am Exia Master Grade and the Trans Am Double O Riser uh, which was a P Bandai finished those up <clears throat> uh, and then you know, high grade oh gosh I don't remember the name of this it's from G Reco it's a grunt suit it's green Jenaham, Space Jenaham, the production type. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. Uh, snapped that together while I was deciding what I was going to build for the rest of the year. Uh, built Leo number eight, and this one I decided I was going to weather a little bit, so I do have a weathered Leo. Um, then I moved on to three P Bandai high grade Universal Century Goof flight types from the 8th MS team. Those were super fun builds. Um, very cool and the thing is the the goof flight type doesn't actually have the wire guided uh, thing um, what do they call that heat whip heat rod whatever that the goof custom has but it comes with the parts to do that it just doesn't have the wire so I went to a local hardware store and I was looking for wire that would fit but also was posable they didn't have anything in the right size but I did find that they had doorbell wire came in uh, a big bundle of red and white wire so I gave them all red heat whips why not thought that was pretty cool um, and they are posed uh, dramatically on my shelf then I completed Leo number nine uh, I moved on to my crossbone kits, crossbone uh, high grades. So I did the uh, the X Zero first, a P Bandai kit. Moved on to the X Three, also a P Bandai kit. Um, <clears throat> needed a break from crossbones because I had two more to do. So I did the real grade uh, uh, unicorn, the real grade unicorn. Destiny, Bond Destiny, Bandit. It's French for a uh, comic book version, basically. Um, so it's got the the big uh, armored, armor, arm, arm, DE, whatever it's called. The big shield, the awesome big shield. Uh, got that guy finished up. And then, finally, uh, the most recent kit that I, well, not the most recent kit. Almost the most recent kit. 
the Shar Zaku 2 that I airbrushed. Uh, still not completed, so I'm not going to call that completed for this year. Uh, but I airbrushed it. It looks great, and I could call it done. But I want to put some decals on it and give it a proper top coat. Uh, the latest kit that I actually did finish, finish. Shoot, I forgot about that one too. Uh, <clears throat> not the latest kit. And then I moved on to the Crossbone Gundam X2 Kai, also a P Bandai kit. And then the uh, high grade Gym Sniper 2, which I bought um, on a whim uh, when I went to the, uh, the last Gunpla build day of the year for uh, a hobby town USA that's nearby here. Uh, they do it like twice a month. Uh, so, yeah, that is what I've built so far this year, um, what I've completed so far this year. Um, I'm hoping, I know I can get one more done this year, uh, cause it's already painted up, like all the, de all the painting is done for this guy, the, the last of the crossbones, uh, the X2. Um, I just gotta snap them together, probably get that done tonight. Uh, today's Saturday, the 29th, so I've got two more days, uh, one of them I have to work. Uh, and then tomorrow I have a friend coming over. So I might be able to snap one more thing together, but it would have to be something super easy. What is a high grade kit that's super easy to snap together that doesn't require any painting that I could get done easily in an hour because I'm used to building, oh, let's say nine of them? Probably gonna finish up my Leos. I got three more. Um, I was going to custom paint one or two of them, but they're so cheap. I will probably just, when I get ready to custom paint a Leo, buy another Leo. Um, why not? So uh, that's my year in review for 2018. All the kits that I've uh, completed and the last four that I will complete uh, before the end of the year. The final count, uh, not counting the uh, Zaku 2, um, just to be you know, 100% fair with myself, uh, will be in the title of this video. So you know the number. This version of me in this video doesn't. But that's how many kits I've built this year. So what kind of goals do I have for kit building in 2019? Well, I'm looking ahead here, and January and February um, is going to be very difficult to get anything done because uh, it's the busy time of year for my company uh, that I work for. It's not my company, but I work for it. Anyway. Uh, it's the busy time of year. I'll be working overtime. Um, <clears throat> I'm probably not going to get a lot of kit building done for the first two months. I'm okay with that. I am perfectly fine with that. Now, what I wanted to do, and I've talked about this I think two or three videos ago, was I wanted to start filming myself building a high grade from start to finish that I was going to airbrush, the, the RX-78 II that came with the uh, Gunpla Builders starter pack. Um, and I, I'm still going to do that. I've already filmed the unboxing and uh, another filming of just the runners. Um, the exposure on those videos is off somehow. I'm going to have to figure out another way of filming um, just because they. It, I don't know. I haven't played them back completely but on camera it looks off so I'll figure it out um, <clears throat> but I'm gonna get those up when I start filming myself building it and I want to make sure that it, that's quality content I don't want to just like slap a camera up and haphazardly build a kit that you can't see on camera like I want to plan it out so you can actually see what I'm doing and that takes time <clears throat> that I don't currently have because of work. <clears throat> so that project is going to come 
a little later. Probably start at the end of March, I think. Uh, in the meantime, I might be able to snap together some kits. Uh, I've got two more Master Grades that I know I can snap together pretty easily. The uh, Seven Sword Slash G Trans Am Master Grade and the Double O Quanta Trans Am, both P Bandai. But with these Trans Am kits, I haven't been doing any panel lining. Um, I haven't been doing any real painting unless it was required. Um, and I haven't been doing any of the markings just because I don't think they look good personally on a Trans Am kit. So I'm just basically it's just straight builds. I can get those done pretty quick. I might be able to get those done <clears throat> over the next couple months, but I doubt it because I'm going to be working a lot and I'm going to be tired and I'm going to want to just chill out and spend time with a couple cool people and my girlfriend who's also a cool people. Um, yeah. So I don't know how much gunpla I'm going to get done in the next couple of months. But I might be able to throw up a video of me just blabbering like I'm doing now. Who knows? Uh, so I do want to do that. I want to get that filmed, uh, the high grade kit filmed, uh, the whole process start to finish, snipping off parts, uh, trimming them up, uh, using cement to remove seam lines, that whole thing. Um, all of it, the whole process. Uh, with no cuts. <clears throat> no cuts except to end each video section. Um, so it's going to be a long series, and that's okay. I'm perfectly happy with that. I think it'll be really cool. Originally, I was going to film it with no talking, and then just put a dub over it so they'd have two versions. Um, but I think... I don't... I know me. I, I'm... I'm never going to get around to actually putting that dub over anything. Um, but I want there to be talking in the video, or at least one version of it. So I don't know yet. I I got to figure out what I'm going to do. Um, the, the unboxing and the uh, runners is no talking, so I got to put a dub over those anyway. I'll see how that goes, and then... If they go well, um, then you'll see two versions uh, as they come out. If they don't go well, you'll see one version, which is a dub, because I'm going to start talking in the videos instead of trying to do a dub. You'll see. Um, the only goals that I have for 2019 is the video series into Airbrush the ARC-782. Um, I think I can probably complete that. Like, not the filming and releasing of the, the, the videos, but like the actual kit, the actual build. I think I can finish that in a month. Probably a month. Depending on how my schedule goes, because my work schedule is probably going to change after February, but we'll see. <clears throat> Uh, my other goals is I want to finish at least one perfect grade, um, which I don't plan on airbrushing or painting or anything, so just snap it together. Um, I have two in progress right now, uh, and they've been in progress for a while for various reasons, I just haven't gotten to them. So I'd like to get those two done possibly a third, which is also in progress, and technically I don't know if I own it or not, which is a long story. Um, my other goals is I would like to airbrush at least two Master Grades this year. Um, and I don't know how that's going to go yet. Uh, I know one of them I can probably get done over the summer, um, like early summer. Uh, the other one I might wait until fall to do. I don't know yet. Um, <clears throat> so the first one I'm going to airbrush is going to be that Hyakushiki that I've talked about before. It's the one with the Balut pack system. 
uh, which I don't intend to use for this particular kit, but I'll have it. Um, and I'll be painting that one in a color change, color shift, uh, gold to red metallic paint. Um, so that's that's the first one I want to do. The second one is I want to start um, on my Endless Waltz kits, uh, my Endless Waltz Master Grades. So I'm probably going to go ahead and just start with Wing Zero because it's Wing Zero. Uh, so the, the perfect grades will be just snapped together, three airbrush kits so far. And then I would like to, because I have the parts to do it, and I've had this in my, uh, you know, in my mind for a while. I just don't know what kind of color scheme I want to do. Is I have a spare uh, Master Grade Wing Zero uh, custom uh, because I I gave the rifle to a friend, uh, Dustin over at Ozkai, um, Ozkai Studios or Studio Ozkai. I don't remember Ozkai Studios. I think it's Studio Ozkai. Um, anyway, he's on Twitter. He's a fantastic artist. He's a really cool, cool guy. Um, check him out. Um, but anyway, I ended up sending him the rifle uh, because he needed uh, one part from it, and I decided uh, if he needs one part, I might as well just send him the whole thing. And I did. So... I visited him, he lives one state over from me, and he had a Banshee Norn, or no, not a Banshee Norn, a, a Master Grade Banshee OVA, just chilling without any weapons, um, he didn't like the way it was going, or something, and he said I could just have it, so I'm going to build it as the Unicorn, um, or I might change the head crest altogether. I don't know how I want to do this yet. <coughs> and give it the uh, the angel wings. So I'm going to do a little bit of a kit bash. Uh, I haven't decided on placement for the wings yet. Um, I haven't decided on a color scheme. I haven't decided on a psycho frame color. I haven't decided on a lot of things. So uh, I want to at least start that project. Uh, I, it will be airbrushed. I don't think I'll get to that this year, uh, but I would like to have it started. Final project is I have a heavy arms master grade that I have been, I've customized uh, physically. There's a few more modifications I need to finish up, and then I want to airbrush that. And that'll be my final project of the year. I don't know where it's going to fit in. Um, I would like to have it done in time for uh, Gundam Builders World Cup at ASIN, which is in May. I don't think it's going to get done by then, which is fine. Um, but we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Uh, basically, uh, everything is done except I have a couple of modifications on the knees to finish up, which would be pretty easy. It's some plot plate. It's all internal. You won't actually see any of it. Um, I just got to make it work um, for a gimmick. And uh, I might need to do some putty work with that uh, on the outside, but I don't, I don't know if I need to do that or not. Uh, and then I need to make... Uh, two of the weapons I had wanted to mount on the arms because um, it's got those slots there for the Gatling and the knife respectively on each side um, and I need to make plugs for those for the weapons I, that I want to mount on those arms because I'm not using either the Gatling or the knife um, those are somewhere else I don't know what I'm going to do with those yet. But that's it. Those are my projects. Anything I get, get done in between is just a bonus. I'll probably probably be able to snap together quite a few kits in between 
I've got 12 Space Leos coming. I'm sure I could snap those together throughout the year. Uh, I've got six of the Blue Leos coming. Uh, I'm sure I could snap those together throughout the year. Who knows? With as many high grades as I've been hitting, um, and SDs that are easy to build, master grades that are easy to build, just snap them together, along with everything else, I might actually hit 100 kits next year, but we'll see. Who knows? Um, I didn't this year. I don't think I've ever hit 100 kits built in a year. Um, but who knows? Maybe we can. I'm not setting that goal, but... We'll see. Uh, I would like to film more stuff for this channel, but I don't think I'm going to get much more beyond the uh, the RX-78 II and then those that I do often. Um, so, yeah, I think that's it. I think I've rambled enough. My voice is starting to go. So until next time, guys, happy building. Be good to each other and drink your root beer. Be sure to drink your Ovaltine.